Good evening. I'm sitting out in the van testing out my heater. I have it plugged with an extension cord running to my garage at the moment. And I've kind of tucked some towels. I've opened that window and tucked towels in the holes. And just kind of seeing you know how it's going to heat up the van and how it will feel because it's going to be really cold Friday night it's going to be like 26 degrees is what it's saying right now so that is very cold I do have a nice blanket um, there's Bella you can't hardly see it but it's a nice fuzzy blanket um, it was in our school spirit store but it is so soft and fluffy and yeah it just keeps i think with this i'm not going to have a problem i also have um, an afghan that i made many years ago and it's really really heavy afghan i mean just to pick it up you probably won't be able to turn over if you have it on so with that in this blanket I really think I should be okay in the heater running. Um, it does have a shut off, so like if I have a certain temperature, you know, I can adjust it for, and it should shut off if it warms the whole van up. I'm thinking that it will because it is such a small area. I'll have my curtain up um, and I'll have the reflectance on the windows. So, it should, I'm hoping it shuts off. Um, I may, of course, shut it off myself because I think it's too warm. Being right in front of it, I'm very warm. So, of course, I'm not going to be sitting up like this. I'll be sitting down. But anyway, and of course, I'm having a problem with my van. Um, the door won't shut, The one of the sliding doors. Um, you know, it's those powered doors, so you push the button for it to open, but you're also supposed to be able to do it manually, and I don't know what the problem is, but what it's doing is when it tries to shut, it won't shut when it gets all the way there, and then it pops back open again. It's like something's in its way or on the track, and I've looked on the track, and I've looked on top, I've looked on the bottom. I don't see anything in its way that would cause it to not shut. And then I tried to turn it off so you could just open it manually and you would I couldn't open it at all. So I don't know what the problem is. One of the reasons I have the bed on the passenger side is because that passenger side door does not open very well. So I'm not going to be very happy if these doors are not working right. Um, I really don't like these automatic doors. They just don't seem to work very well. So I just want to do a short clip. I'm using this little space heater to hopefully keep me warm this weekend. And I also I cut this piece of wood right here. And it is on top of my three drawer thing. There's my toilet. Um, it's a, on top of my plastic three floor thing and so I just wanted a wood surface for the heater and I didn't want it to be on plastic. I don't think the heater, no, the heater's not really hot on the bottom, but I just didn't want the plastic getting warm. So really the warmest is right in front of it. So anyway, hopefully this will be okay. Like I said, I feel warm now because I'm right in front of it, but I really think running this for a couple of hours to get this fan nice and cozy and with my blankets that I have I think I'll be okay um, I'm also going to bring you know I've got like those fleece pajamas and I'll bring those to wear or um, you know if I if it's too cold to even change I sleep in my jeans and my hoodie with the hoodie up so I'll do whatever it works I do have some gloves and a scarf. I tell you what, if I wear a scarf, I'm usually pretty warm. So, I do have electric where I'm going. Um, I don't think I could do this if I didn't have electric. 
because it's just it's just going to get really cold Friday night. So I definitely would need a heater. And right now I'm not brave enough to do propane in the van, even if I vent the windows. I don't know. I don't know that I like that idea. All right, so that's it. I just wanted to show about the heater. Um, I did work a little bit on my walking stick to try and get. I have a like a staff, but I wanted to make it more like a cane. But um, yeah, I need some rougher sandpaper to sand some part down so it will fit to make a handle on the top. So, but I have a bamboo one right now that I can take with me this weekend to use. I just think it'd probably be safer for me to have um, a walking cane just to keep my balance and yeah. I think it would just be wiser choice to do. So, and I'll probably be doing this solo on my own without my dog. So my dog would probably love to come, but I just can't see how to get her. Yeah, there's just no way unless I ask and he says yes, but I guess I just don't want to ask. Yeah. So, all right, I will close this video out. You all find joy through serving. And be blessed.